beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. I'd like to acknowledge the elders past and present and welcome you to my country, Jara country. The declaration of Terran Yulis and the arrival of the First Fleet heralded not only the dispossession of the Aboriginal people and the beginning of penal settlement, but also the birth of the Catholic Church in Australia. Dr Bacchus was the first priest on the Bendigo Goldfields and came to us from Paderborn, Germany. His report to the Denominational Schools Board on the 5th of August 1853 reflects his meticulous efforts in this area. It is on the banks of the Bendigo Creek, a quarter mile below the camp. There are nearly 500 children, of whom nearly 300 are Catholic. By permission, the school is held in the chapel tent. Bacchus was to remain in the area for 30 years as Bendigo transformed into an elegant city and the centre of a diocese, with the Sacred Heart Cathedral now standing tall as a testament to the rich history of Catholicism on the goldfields. We know that Bishop Tomlinson will continue the tradition moving forward into the future of Catholic education in the Sandhurst Diocese. The state refuses to offer aid at the Lady of Mercy College, Goulburn. Our students shall enrol in the state system. We shall flood the system. We have just revisited the story of Catholic education in Australia, in Sandhurst in particular. This story, the story of Dr Henry Bacchus, the bishops, the religious, the lay women and men who began some of our schools, and the Goulburn strike, which was my own lived personal story, these stories are a part of us all. We come together during these days to reflect on our contribution to the story of Catholic education and to reimagine the future. As the late Hedley Bear, eminent educator said, Catholic education is the greatest story of Australia never told. welcome all of you very warmly to Bendigo and to the Diocese of Sandhurst for this gathering. That the six High Court judges who overruled Terra Nullius and affirmed the rights of the Indigenous people, all six of them received some of their education at Catholic schools. That is an extraordinary fact when you think of the history of this nation and how long it took for Catholics to be part of the mainstream fabric of the decision-making of this society. How can I, how can we, bring the modern world into contact with the vivifying and perennial energies of the gospel? 
As teachers and pastors to the young, I invite you to be bold and confident in proclaiming the love in your hearts, the hope in each other, and the faith in our church. Thanks for your witness and commitment thus far. I hope and pray that you'll be energized during these days together so that you might go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole of creation. Thank you.
what is written in the law? The lawyer replied, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and your neighbour as yourself. Jesus said, do this and life is yours. It's my delight to introduce and welcome Ben Jensen to our conference this year. What I see is some key challenges facing school education in Australia. They're the same as what the challenges facing school education around the world. And I think these are some fundamental issues which we have to confront going forward. Student learning, start, middle and end point. In the best schools, in the best school systems, it's everything they do. It is all about student learning. Well done. Sounds a bit corny, doesn't it? But to me, it's where we should start. I'm hoping you don't underestimate your importance because you're shaping young lives. That doesn't take that thought into consideration. And the other thing it doesn't take into consideration is at some point, spending at this level, they're reducing their assets quite considerably. If you're passionate, you come out on film looking like a cheetah. <laughs> Obviously, if someone's upset you, you calm them. Um, but they need more practical things rather than psychological therapies in the early days. That wasn't just science. Because it says, oh my God, human beings are not at the centre of God's world. That's the primary task of Christians, is to gather once a, once a week to come and say thanks to God. I'm not saying that he is a fantastic, wonderful person, helped this kid, but he was so engaged in this process. He said they're not an RE teacher, and that doesn't matter, because it's actually just a platform of curriculum delivery. It's not going to matter, you could be teaching Chinese through this method. The plate doesn't come out as far as the handle. There's probably four or five apples. But, um, we have six communities. All the communities had to be renamed. Check the pressure. How's that pressure, Maria? Good, thanks. So we always check because for people, one side can be a little bit more tender than the other. Mm, but that doesn't mean it's a made-up story. Mm. Uh, myth defined as a story with a message in it. And what we do and what we say is relevant and it's credible, and that we can be assured of what we want to do. This is fun in the weather. Thank you. This is <laughs> it's all on camera too. Oh, I missed that. It's <laughs> getting a little bit trickier. This is where it becomes really, really handy for teachers and really, really handy for students. Differentiation actually occurs in our classrooms already, so let's have a look at where it's actually occurring, where it's successful. Don't think about applying for funding, right? So sometimes what people do is they go, I've got this great idea, and if it comes off, I'm going to go and buy a brand new tractor for our farm. Electricity parent, we have produced. <laughs> <laughs> An on-site blackwater treatment is not yet mainstream, so we, we need, so the two systems aren't compatible. I've been imagining what it would take to put on a conference like this, and when I do, it makes my head spin. So how about a round of applause for everybody involved? Please, and if I could ask principals, just whichever order you find yourselves in, come up the centre and receive your strategic directions. Thank you. The Sandhurst School Education Board Strategic Directions, 2012 until 2015, are informed by the ever-changing context of education and society. The Catholic Education Sandhurst Council for the Arts. Did anything speak to your heart, particularly during the first session yesterday morning? And I have to confess that at one stage there was almost a big tear in the eye, because in seeing that session unfold, bringing together history, Tradition, faith, action, 
learning in the manner in which it happened yesterday was something perhaps I dreamed of for years but never had the power to articulate it or in many ways to bring that into being. And it would seem now that together we have the ability to recapture the relationship between the arts and the church in a very big way. And that really made me nearly cry yesterday morning because I saw that in action. So I thank you all for what you've done in that context because we used to be silent, very silent, and we certainly wouldn't sing. And if we can create a new generation of people who not only sing and sing the sacred, who not only paint and paint the sacred, who not only sculpture and sculpture the sacred, then I think our education system is really producing the rounded people that we set ourselves out to do. With great pleasure, I launch the Catholic Education Sanders Council for the Arts, and I look forward to seeing the work of all of these good children, these young adults, and our teachers exhibited at different times in our beautiful cathedral. Thank you, Phil, for the honour of doing this. students, that they may grow in relationship with God as they seek knowledge. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. May you return to your communities inspired and energised by the wisdom and experience of this Catholic education Sandhurst community. Amen. On this eve of the year of grace, may you experience the undying love and grace of God today and always. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>